Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. There's 39, 39, 37 stars left. A great place to look for stars is this board right here. If you look at the board and take a read, take a little gander right here, you'll see that some of these galaxies have crowns on them. Galaxies that have crowns are 100% finished. The other ones that don't aren't. So those are the places that you should be looking for uh, stars when you're uh, when you don't have anywhere that you need that you know that you need to go. So if you're ever stuck and you don't know where you need to look for stars, just take a look at that map and you won't have any trouble whatsoever finding the next place that you have to go. And I'm gonna go over to the kitchen over here just because I suspect that there's gonna be something here. Um, because there hasn't been something here for a little while. Um, uh, there's a, uh, uh, mm, uh, uh, I, I'll do the Beach Bowl Galaxy. There's two secret stars, but the Beach Bowl Galaxy sounds good to me. So let's get this started. Which star do I have to select to access that one? It is the secret undersea cavern. Okay, now, I don't remember what the heck I'm supposed to do here, actually, to be honest. Um... Hmm, I'm just going to take a look-see around here and commentate while I go uh, yeah, until I find something and then maybe I'll cut to it, I don't know. Well, there's a treasure chest over by this edge here, but I don't think that's going to do anything if I blow it up. Well, let's just see what happens when I do. I'm just going to grab this little shell here. Yeah, you need the, always need the shells to... Wait, wait, I just seen something. Uh, hold on, I might be on to something actually, not the other chest, but this chest right down here. Where does this, oh, uh, it's just a one-off, dang it. I need another shell now. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot where to go here for the secret star. Uh, well, I'll be cutting around until I do if this isn't the correct solution. Uh, but I need to, hey, camera, bad camera, this way. Woo. Oh yeah. Jumping out of the water like a dolphin. And... Oh wait, no, wait. Uh, can I... No, I can't get up. Ah! Bang you shell controls. And I need to go and, like, hop myself up here. No? Ah! I would like to control this nicely. And maybe I can just jump up. Ah! Hey, you have to jump from the surface to get it to work. Jump out of the water here with the shell. And open this treasure chest and see what the heck's in it. There we go, launch star. That's where I need to go. I, huh. Thank God for cutting. <laughs> I was all over the place on this one. Anyway, now I'm at the secret area. Um, what I need is to be Ice Mario. You'll see when I get there. Um, there's a question mark thing there, but I need... Uh, oh wait, no, I actually need that catacrack to get to that question mark thing there. So follow me. Follow me. Gimme. Come on. Gimme some boosting here. And... Oh, I could've got the star bits. Maybe I still can while I wait. Oh wait, no, hey, come back here. I thought you were on my tail. Hey, don't fall in the water. No! You're not supposed to do that. Well, there's another one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. It's time. Come on. 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 And launch me. Woo! Now oh, that gives me an ice flower. Now, grab that ice flower and walk on water. Yeah, baby. I'm Jesus. Now, do, do wall jumps up these waterfalls. You're now, whoops, you're now able to do so because you, because you can freeze the water as you're jumping up it. Use the launch star to get up here, and quickly get up here before you run out of ice flower power. And I think I got up here in time. I hope I got up here in time. Um, I might be able to get up there. Yeah, I did it. Okay. Normally you're supposed to wall jump off that uh, area, but I was just a little bit too slow there. But that's okay. Anyway. Um, there's a star in the middle of this thing here. Uh, create a path, like something like this, and uh, get him to follow you. And uh, oh, whoa, all the way over here. Oops, all the way over here. Come on, Duder. Oh wait, maybe this isn't it. Uh, oh wait, the star 
star is over here. Whoops. Oh, no, he's going to fall in the water. My bad. I thought it was in the center. Well, whatever. Go to that little platform in the middle there. And I wouldn't be surprised if this water was very chilling, but evidently it's not for some reason. But uh, I'm not going to question that whatsoever. Anyway, you follow me, little guy. Yeah, yep. Come on, come on, come on. Don't waste time. And now fling me up here. And there's a star! Ghostly Galaxy, there's a Daredevil Comet in orbit. So you know what that means. It's the Boulder Geist Daredevil Run. One of the most notoriously hard stars to get in the entire game. So I might as well get this one out of the way right now. Do you, I'm sure you remember the strategy how to beat Boulder Geist. Uh, the best way to beat him is just to grab one ghost in the first phase to hit him, but in the second phase you want to aim for grabbing two ghost bombs at the same time. So, yeah, you know, one life, one boulder geist, like eight hits, <laughs> and it's very hard to uh, beat this boss consistently. consistently. So, wish me luck. Wait for him to flop some boulders up in the air, and they'll throw them back towards the ground. And there's a blue bomb, and I'll just grab one of them, let it flop over towards him by grabbing his tongue, and I'll just grab another blue bomb. Oh man, that's gonna ruin it. And because whenever whenever it hits those rocks there, the blue bombs just uh, de let either explode or you let go of them. So those rocks are the bane of your existence. And one more hit for the first phase. Woo! And I just need another blue bomb. Hello, little guy. I see you popping on there. And that's four hits. And here comes phase two. Yeah, first phase goes pretty quickly. But phase two is where it's at. This is where things get hard. All right. Oh, no. I don't like this one star. I don't like this one at all. to stop flying at you until you grab a, a boo. I'm just saying because uh, if you if you spin, you won't have as much mobility and as much speed as you would have if you were just running away. So, yeah, it's definitely recommend that, that you uh, pick your moments wisely uh, when you grab a boo. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. You're not, you're not entrapping me, mister. Yeah, whenever he does that double uh, rock thing, just break your way through with a spin attack. Uh, not much to it, just break out of it quickly and you shouldn't have any trouble dodging the next uh, set of rocks. And this should give him a hit, yes! Oh, the man, the other hand's forming, grab the boo. Oh! I destroyed his hand. Uh, I think that's good, well, at least for now. And there's only one boo in this set, dang. That sucks. I was hoping for a double boo, but that's okay, I guess. I'm gonna break these and break these. Maybe what he'll do? No, he's just gonna do a slap attack. And oh, the other arm is reforming, but that's okay. The, the other, this right arm, I should say left arm, his left arm, this one right here, is actually the one that you have to destroy the soonest because um, when you don't. It, it usually gets in the way of the boo bombs, and that and the boo bombs are the most important thing in this fight because that's how you hit this critter. Oh my goodness! I cannot take a hit. Do not risk it. Oh, oh I can't believe I'm even, even surviving this long on my first try on this boss in such a long time. I'm probably gonna jinx it now. Yep, it's gonna be a jinx. It's gonna be an epic fail that I'm gonna have to cut to when I actually pass this thing or something. Whoa! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! This is looking very good! This is looking very good! Oh yeah! It's over! Woo! You know, I just thought of something. I just beat him two times in a row without taking a hit. Wow. That even surprises me, because I used to have a lot of trouble on this guy. Okay, I think I have time for one more star in this part, so let's go to the, a very spooky sprint. There is a secret star here, and I intend to find it. It's definitely not along the sprint, and I once again forgot where the heck it is. 
So, I'm gonna be collecting star bits along the way, because I probably have to feed some gluttonous Luma that's along the way. Because you know how greedy those critters are. I'm pretty sure I can... Oh wait, I see something. I got this special star there, but there's this glowing rock here that seems pretty suspicious. Was that glowing before? I don't remember that thing glowing before on my first run. Anyway, wow, look at Mario glow! Anyway, secret area. Um, basically, you're on this moving plat- not moving platform, I should say forming platform. It's making a path for you to go to. And there's a key over here. Get that key, it'll unlock this door. Yeah, this is a very weird secret area, but it's also really cool. And, uh, when you, as soon as you touch this thing, it's gonna start moving. Get ready to move with it. It's gonna go this way. And then it's gonna follow the pathway to go to that box. And I... Did I ever mention how great this game controls? I never... I don't think I mentioned how great this game controls. It controls like a dream. It is absolutely fantastic. And I can already hear the twinkling of the star. Not you, Mr. Boo there. I'm just talking about the star. No, stop following me. I know you're supposed to look at the boo to make him stop following you, but <clears throat> I wasn't really paying much attention to him until it was like the last second and he was like right in my freaking face. And uh, I think I got a long jump over there or not. Or I could just walk on over here and there's a key. Get the key. And I'm pretty sure in the... Wait. Oh. Okay, now I get it. Now I got a... Now I got to, uh, it's a frantic race to get up to the top here, because it's going to be forming this building as I go. And open this door up, it'll give you a coin, I guess. And that was a delightful reward. And it's also eating away the bottom of the building as well, so just stay ahead of it, and uh, you should be just fine. You can, he you probably can hear the, the twinkle twinkle of the star that's going... Uh, there's a locked door over there. Is there a key? So oh, there is a key up there. Hey, give me a key! Woo! That'll unlock all the doors, and this one's got the star! Woo! There it is! And I, I think that's the last star that I'll be able to get in this part. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Man, I gotta get used to this 15 minute time limit thing. It's, it's, it's throwing me all off. I'm not sure, uh... If I'm actually hitting near 15 minutes and I finish these parts after editing, so it's kind of it's kind of throwing me for a loop. But I gotta say, I like the extra time. Okay, I'm rambling. See you guys later.